Hall of Fame referee, Richard Steele, uh, one of the greatest that's ever done as a referee. People might not know, he actually also does run a boxing gym in uh, North Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. You, so you, you founded this gym, how, how many years ago? Uh, did you yeah, nine, 1995. I wanted to give back to the public. I wanted to give back to uh, the young people of Nevada and all over the world, really. So I started a gym in 1995, uh, and uh, at the first gym I had, it was called uh, Sugar Ray Leonard Boxing Gym, because the MGM has uh, put up the money for Sugar Ray Leonard to have a gym, but he needed a manager, so he picked me. Well, he uh, eventually fell out of the picture and they gave me the gym. So the Rich Still Boxing Gym has been an assistant ever since 95. We are really rebuilding our, our gym now. We have a tournament, a boxing tournament this weekend, where we have three of our fighters from my gym participating into the tournament. And we have about 20 fights that, that night. So we are very busy. Every other week, we go somewhere and give our kids a chance to fight. Or you know, like three to four times a year, we have a tournament here at my boxing gym. Well, I first started boxing myself in the Marine Corps, United States Marine Corps. I started boxing amateur. I uh, then turned professional in Los Angeles, California. I had 16 fights. I won four, 14 out of 16. I eventually uh, got injured, I had to quit boxing, so they get, offered me a job to referee. I never thought a dream, uh, the refereeing job taking me so far, but it kept me into the business for the next 40 years. What were some of the most memorable uh, fights that you actually did as a, member, uh, as a referee? Um, kind of go over that a little bit. Well, you know, I did a lot of great fights. Tommy Hearns and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. I done Tommy Hearns and Marvin Hagler. Uh, that fight won the best three rounds ever in boxing. I did uh, five Mike Tyson fight. I did Julio Cesar Chavez and Melchior Teller. I did a, a lot of uh, De La Hoya fights, like maybe three or four De La Hoya fights. So I've done a lot of world uh, title fights in my career. Who, who are your favorite fighters of all time? I think people would be definitely interested to know uh, what fighters you really think are the, the best uh, that ever lived. Well, I have to start back from the beginning. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, you know, when you hear the greatest fighter of all time, like Muhammad Ali, when he makes a statement that he learned from Sugar Ray Robinson, so you have to realize that Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest fighter of all time. And then, you know, you got the Ali's, you got the Mayweather. I think you have, have to put them in different uh, years, you know, uh, because when you start think, thinking about who's the greatest, there's a lot of things that has changed. A lot of the opponents has changed. A lot of way that they match the fighters has changed. I mean, when Rocky Marciano, when he was fighting, they were, uh, they didn't have a structure like they had when Mayweather was fighting. So the structure that Mayweather fought under was much harder than it was for uh, for uh, Rocky Marciano. So, you know, when you think of who's the greatest or who was the greatest, it's very hard to determine that by the years that they fought. But I always like Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, and Floyd Mayweather. That's a, I, I think everybody's got to like all those guys. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think anybody can disagree with you there. All right, uh, thanks, Richard. I really appreciate this interview, and um, best of luck, and you know, God bless. Thank you. God bless you.